Hi, I'm Tom. I'm the owner and director of uh, Taylor Groomers in Liverpool. So I'm just checking for any lumps or bumps, and um, just checking for general health, checking in his ears, make sure there's no signs of any like black gulf, which could be a sign of infection. And his teeth and gums as well. Got a little bit of tartan on his teeth, but not to be concerned about. And overall, he seems pretty good. And um, so we do two washes on one condition, and then what that does is it opens up all the, um, the hair follicles, so it gives us a, a cleaner and neater cut when we're shaving the dog. What I always advise is that I would never wash a dog any more than maybe every other week. Even then, that's quite regular, but it depends on how active your dog is and what your dog gets up to during walks. So if you've got like a smelly dog, I would recommend maybe every other week. That, you know, it's an option for the, the owner to bring their own preference to their own shampoo. Um, some dogs have prescription shampoos, so they're prescribed by a vet, and um, depending on you know the severity of their allergies. But we do have um, a non-vegan, um, a vegan. It's um, non-scented and it's all um, original products. So um, we've also got um, like an antibacterial one as well. So if we find any dogs with you know any rashes or anything, we can wash them in the antibacterial shampoo and that should just kill any bacteria that's on the skin within the fur and should just help them regenerate new skin basically. So now we've had the two shampoos, used the conditioner and this just makes his fur nice and soft and then that's, that's what gives us the, the nice overall finish at the end when, we've, when we're cutting him. to lather the dog in conditioner. It just seems to feel nicer for longer if you do that, as opposed to being a bit shy with it. Good boy, God. Some of them don't like being washed in a bath, so just holding, as opposed to holding it up here, holding it close to the dog really helps as well. Squeeze all the excess water out of his fur. There's no specific time scale on when you can and can't get your dog groomed. Um, but personally, I would, from a puppy perspective, the sooner you get your, your puppy into the, you know, the groom environment, the, the better, more beneficial it's going to be for the groomer and the dog. Um, it's going to be less stressful for both parties. Really. For now, what I would suggest is, you know. Once the dog is, you know, settled in your home and things, even if you just bring the dog to be introduced to the groomer, into the environment. To dry the dog at home, you can either leave the dog to dry naturally, you know, if the heating's on, they would dry pretty quick anyway, obviously depending on what kind of dog it is. So here you go here. You could use just you know just a normal hand dryer um, on Hugo, and you know it takes a little bit longer than what the equipment that we use here in the salon. But um, you could use that. Um, alternatively, you know it is just a case of towel drying your dog and letting your dog dry naturally. Um, a lot of the problems that that you'll face with a dog, with the likes of you know a German Shepherd or uh, the likes of Hugo here, is, is matting. So. You know, if you're not brushing your dog regularly, you're gonna find that you'll you you'll have mats within the dog, within the dog's fur, um, and also with the, the likes of the dogs that do shed, you're gonna find that the, you know you're gonna have a lot of hair in your house, as opposed to if you're brushing them once a week, maybe more regular than that. Any short-haired dog really um, is minimal because one, they, they don't need cotton. Um, the only thing that I would say is the dog needs 
as part of a groom. The groom will be, you know, a regular wash. If, um, if obviously the dog's an active dog and it's outside a lot. Um, nails as well. So if the dog is, is not walking on concrete uh, regularly, you'll find that the nails will start growing quite rapidly. So keeping on top of the nails um, and obviously cleaning the ears out as well. Um, the likes of um, Hugo here and the likes of the Shih Tzu and the Cavapoos and um, Cockapoos and things like that, they're all what I would class as maybe a high maintenance dog. So Bichon Freeze as well, so um, they're going to need cutting regularly. So the likes of the Kaylee coat, the dogs tend to mat a lot more than what you would do with the likes of Hugo here who's got you know, straight fair. Um, so yeah, it's a regular brushing at home for the likes of the Kaylee coat, the dogs. Um, it's just only going to help massively in terms of you know matting and things, um, ensuring that you know they're doing regular checks on the dogs. Because when the when the dog comes to the groomers, what the groomers should be doing is doing a, a, a groomers health check. So that's just checking over the dog for any lumps and bumps. Again, checking the ears, the teeth, the gums. The groomers just keeping an eye on those things, just checking for any, uh, if there's any uh, you know any changes within the dog. Um, and just maintain the dog by brushing the dog. Every dog is different, but ideally for between four to six weeks, depending on the dog.